driving the Volkswagen CC, and uh, by now you know that this is the stylish sedan in the Volkswagen lineup because the Jetta and the Passat certainly can't claim that. It's as good as it ever was, but the competition keeps moving. We'll get on with that in a minute though. Let's talk about what's still powering the CC, and that is Volkswagen's excellent as ever, two liter turbo four cylinder. And this, believe it or not, is uh, more or less the original version, 200 horsepower, um, 207 pound-feet of torque, although we don't believe either of those numbers. This thing feels so much stronger than that in the mid-range when the turbo helps out. Um, smooth as ever, all the way to red line. Just great power, never seems to drop off. And, uh, you know, 200 horsepower, this makes the case that you really don't need any more. You never uh, feel shortchanged when you're driving a, a car with this engine. So we're glad to see that on board. Now in this model, we uh, have the six-speed DSG dual clutch transmission, and that is, as ever, a fun transmission, crisp shifts, uh, quite capable in fully automatic mode, but really the sport automatic mode is where you really would like to leave it. Uh, it'll hold shifts out nicely, it's quick to downshift, um, and it, it's, it's just pretty good at anticipating what an enthusiast driver would be doing on their own. And there is the uh, manual gate if you want full control, but uh, in this executive model, which is higher in the trim line, um, it's probably the transmission to get. You can get a six-speed manual and do it yourself in the base model, and that could be a lot of fun too, but not what we're driving this week. Uh, the CC, though, uh, still looks good. A few years on, it had a little refresh last year, 2013, but holding up pretty well uh, overall, and it's still a good looker, and still a very handsome cabin, actually, too. I think you can see in this uh, two-tone interior we have here in the executive trim, just very nice materials, nice colors, uh, stitching detail, materials on the doors are excellent. We like the uh, kind of swooping cutout on the dash, kind of gives it a floating dash pad look, and uh, overall ergonomically quite sound. Everything's within easy reach here, climate controls, all that stuff's good and straightforward. Nice cup holders. The navigation system is pretty comprehensive, but uh, you know, I said to another editor that I feel it's powered by the CPU of a calculator because uh, it just it has a lag, a, a one to two second lag on almost everything it feels like, and it's just so annoying in practice. Even uh, adjusting the volume to get the graphic to change on, uh, to show you your new volume level, it's a second or two delay, and I, I can't understand it. Volkswagen really needs to fix that. Other than that, it's pretty capable. There are problems, I guess, really on this test car, which is virtually brand new. We're looking now at about 600 miles. Um, on the odometer, and yet we had a turbo rattle coming from the back that took us uh, a few hours to figure out what was causing it. I thought it was in the folding back seat. It turned out to be um, one of the anchors on the top uh, shelf back there, one of the uh, child seat anchors um, was rattling in its base, so uh, propped that up to stop that. Also in this door, uh, and certain sounds, or at certain um, volumes and certain musical tones, you get a rattle, there's something uh, loose in this door or speaker, and uh, that's a bit of a surprise as well. So we're a little disappointed with the overall initial quality of this low mileage vehicle. Blind spot, of course, is not great with that swooping rear C-pillar, but outside of those things, you can live with that. It's a very comfortable, uh, upscale place to be, and I like that about the CC. Now, on top of that, Volkswagen has also done a nice job tuning the ride. The ride is very smooth and compliant, uh, even on the lower profile big tires uh, that we have on this model. Um, most, of, uh, most of Michigan's uh, pavement irregularities are, are taken care of and dispatched. I like that. Now on the other hand, a, a car that looks this low slung and sleek, you'd expect to be quite sporty. And it does, the steering is quite direct, we like that. Um, but there's no real feedback or any really information coming through it, but uh, the reflexes are good enough to pass this for you. The suspension itself though, especially the front suspension, um, seems to be a bit loose though, uh, a little more than you would expect. And you get some kind of undulations in the road that kind of um, just cause a little more bob and weave in the front end than you'd like. Brake feel is not bad, we like a little more bite initially and uh, they'd be pretty much right there with what we'd want in a mid-size sporty sedan like we've got here. 
The CC, as uh, you know, is started off really as uh, one of the earliest four-door coupes uh, in that whole craze that has just exploded. And uh, it, it's still a handsome car, certainly in a lineup of the Jetta and the Passat. Uh, something like this is almost necessary to, to keep Volkswagen from being the butt of a lot of jokes. Now the back seat is a, a bit of the issue when it comes to the CC. You want to make sure that you're not buying this vehicle if you anticipate carrying adults often because um, it can get a little tight back here. Now I'm six foot and my, technically my hair isn't touching the headliner, but it's really close. And uh, over here where the seat's adjusted for me to drive, my, you know, my knees do uh, brush the front seat. And um, you know, it's just tight, but certainly would work for uh, preteens. Um, but like I said, if you're commuting, uh, the Passat is where you want to look. The Passat has limo-like leg room in the back seat you really got to kind of duck to get out of this thing. So try to keep that in mind, whatever your purpose is going to be. Now this is kind of cool too. This technology is starting to be seen a little more, but I will now open the trunk with my hands up. All I have to do is wave my foot and then the trunk opens all the way up. I could load my groceries or whatever. Uh, pretty, pretty neat uh, little simple piece of technology that uh, I think will continue to spread. Also, they've done a nice job here. Uh, you can, the trunk's only about 13 and a half cubic feet. Uh, it's, it's kind of a little narrow, but if you've got oversized things, you got handles on both sides here, you just simply pull the handle and the seat flops down, which also, uh, you know, opens up cargo room quite a lot. And it's a one touch lever operation, pretty slick in our opinion, and uh, increases the uh, capabilities of what is otherwise a pretty tidy car, really. Those are all the uh, facts, if you will. Now. Like we said, that two liter turbo is fun to drive, plenty punchy. However, it's pretty thirsty. For a two liter engine, you're only looking at 22 miles per gallon in the city, 31 miles per gallon on the highway. And we got a lot of competition doing better than that now with more powerful V6s. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, the Chrysler 300, um, other competition here. You've, I'd put this up against like a Buick LaCrosse. Volkswagen actually likes to aim uh, for a little smaller cars. Things like the Acura TSX, I think this would beat it. Um, and But I, I think more in the style, in the luxury, and the price point, we're looking at $38,000 here as it sits without any options. So this executive model, which is pretty for, fairly loaded, they all come with navigation, leather, things like that. Uh, $38,000, I think it competes with the Buick LaCrosse, other stylish sedans in that price range. And I think it'll hold its own. You just have to remember that it's limited pretty thirsty. It's not any more powerful on paper than those ones. And, uh, you know, really it, it drives um, comfortably. The ride is, is very nice, um, but it, it's not a sporty ride. It really could be, uh, it could be tied down a little better. But on the other hand, a lot of people will like the fact that this is not in everybody's driveway. Um, and so bonus points for having something that your neighbor doesn't. So if you're looking for a little unique take on the sedan market, I think the Volkswagen CC is probably worth a look. It's got a few rough edges. We'd like uh, Volkswagen to polish up before we uh, can fully recommend it though. I'll try to make a passing maneuver. Make a pass at me. Uh. <laughs> You're not my type. Ride and drive.